If my teacher could tell me I'm useless, I won't go there again. Welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Goshes. Ha! Today is different. You see, the it's not a joke. It's hmm, I'm even tensed. We are dealing with head girls of various awesome senior high schools in this country. All the beautiful girls you are looking at, they are all head girls of various high schools in this country, prestigious schools. Now we're going to have a very interesting conversation. Of course, a very a very big shout out to the regional education director, that central region, Madam. Justine Apple, ah, thank you, thank you for for letting us into your space, Central Region. Yes, I am here on the shoulders of Fox. Fox is a um, forum of heads of girls senior high school, and every year there's a summer camp where they bring all high school girls in the country, and then they teach them a lot of things, capacity building, and all that. So they asked me to come here and see. What's, what's up? And I'm here and we're going to have conversation um, on the subject of alumni. How do we, how come some schools, they have really strong alumni? The students, they leave and so many years, they come back and come and help the school. Others too, they don't come. You call them, they will never show up. You, since you, you, since you completed school 20 years ago, you, repent. But they have an idea of why some of these things happen. So we're going to have a conversation. And before that, they're going to introduce themselves and then we go for a showdown. I'm going to start from my extreme left. My name is Wilona Sarah Yesu, the head girl of West Eagles High School located in Cape Coast. I am Her Royal Majesty Sheridan Sam Oniawonto, in a head girl of a Hantaman Girls Senior High School located in Sekendita Krade. I am Daisy Abnapina Manese. The assistant head girl for St. Louis Senior High School, and it's located in Kumasi, Ojia. So your head girl couldn't make it here? No. Amazing. St. Louis assistant, she's here. It's quality the same. Says, so let's go. Okay. I am Her Excellency Manuela Isil. I'm also the first deputy head girl from Phantom One, and our school is in South Pond Central Region. Awesome. Your head girl too couldn't make it here? Yes, please. Where is she? She's gone home. She's also representing in Phantom One at some other parts. Amazing. Hey, these people, it's not a joke. Oh, watch it, Chadinim. Sister, let's go. I'm Mr. Her Excellency Bempa Eno Ekia Sansua Deborah, the head girl for Akau Vesni Girls High School, located at um, Aodami Estate. Aodami Estate, Accra. Yes, Accra. So, Accra Wesley Girls. Yes. We have Wesley Girls in Accra, and we have one here in Central Region. Yes. Accra Wesley Girls, Kumasi Wesley Girls. No, this is Central hey, Region. Sa hey, hey, <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. Yeah, Central Region, here in Cape Coast. Yeah. So now, when we talk of alumni, these alumni, these are the, the, um, the school institution. They are the major stakeholders. The alumni are the major stakeholders of the school institution. But it is quite sad, unfortunate, that some of uh, these people will go through the school system for years. They'll be nurtured, uh, given all the good moral support. They'll go out there and make it big. And they choose not to look at the school again. I'm broken hearted. Mm -hmm. What do you think constitutes to that? Bring about some of those things. I believe some people think the school hasn't really given to them. So they can't give back to the school. That's basically it. If you really believe that your school has given to you, go and give back to your school. But if you have, if you have this mentality that, oh, my school didn't really do anything for me. After all, I am who I am today because I put in my own efforts and my school never did anything for me. You never have this urge to go to your school and give to your school. Eh. Yes. yes. Is it who else to, has something to say? And Sister, to buttress, talk. To buttress what she said, when you look at most schools' speech days, uh, the schools that have strong alumni, they are speech days, you realize that the alumni do what they do out of the love for the school because they know what the school has given or contributed to who they are in the present. So let's say there's a school that didn't give so much to an individual. In many years to come, you wouldn't even reach that individual if you want to see him because that individual will be in his or her own shell because he's not sort of so successful 
as society deems he or she should be because the school didn't do so much for him to bring him to that height of success in society so they don't really see the need to give back to their school or they don't have the means because the school didn't input the inputs right or things of value into them uh, I think awesome. sometimes people are not proud of their schools if you are really exactly. proud of your school you go and give to your school yes yes okay okay so for me i would say some people only contribute if what they put in or their inputs are being utilized because i can't just bring something and then have no, it's just for fun or we don't really utilize it or for other generations to come and meet it we don't keep it well no i won't and then some to do not have if i don't have how can i give i have to have so i can give and then when i give you have to utilize it to motivate me to actually yeah. add up more yeah and gosh, thirdly i think um some people want to feel recognized and if the school is not giving them that recognition they won't give to the school there are people like that and on the fact that everybody wants to be recognized too some people may think that if they go with small amounts of money they'll be like Upon all the things the school has done for you, this is the only thing you've done for them. And this is all you could bring them. So that's why you don't do that. But should it always be monetary? Not no, really. No, no. Sometimes, see, if the vice president or the president came for you, from your school, is a motivation to you that you can also be there. It's not only about money. It's about going there, your presence motivating the other students. It's not about money. All students past students going back to the school is not about money it's about sometimes going as a group and encouraging the students i'm this here i'm a doctor here i'm a lawyer here you give the lawyers in the school the motivation to go and um, to learn very hard and get that goal because someone in their in their school has equally made it to that field so it's not only about money sometimes you have to support but in other cases it's not only about money you need to go and motivate them Seeing people in my school seriously motivate me. Anyone who has come to my school has seriously motivated me. And I know I can do it because they have been able to do it. Awesome. Even your presence in the school gives us like enough courage to do more. Our past head girl, she comes to our school on a regular basis to talk to the prefects and advising us on certain things to do. Even though she has not, she has not made it fully, but we have hope that definitely she should make it. She comes there, gives us hope, um, encouragement, like... She helps us a lot. So definitely in a few years to come, I see myself to be some, somewhere high awesome. to help my school as well. So don't you also think that we just spoke about monetary. Don't you also think that maybe they may have it at the back of their mind that, okay, well, let me go and check up on my school and all that. But then when they get there, the school administration themselves will be looking out for an envelope or... Um, be ready to um, give the person a certain project like, okay, these are the things you're looking for, these are the things you're looking for, these are the things you're looking for, and then they will bring everything upon them. And then for that reason, they, they say, I'm not going there. I'm not sure school administrations are doing that now. They actually encourage the old students to come. I mean, the past students to come around. When you come and you can help, fine. But if you can't, at least they have seen you i believe in seeing to motivate people seeing you and it's motivating them your presence motivating i'm not sure administration push and um, pushes these people past students away if it's done definitely will be out there I, it's not done in my school and i know in my colleagues schools is it done there no not all students is pushed away of school yes. because the administration does not come into play in this issue yeah. it's not that they push them away you. like they have it maybe i have it like you you made mention of really interesting stuff um, about um, maybe you not being there mm -hmm. like you're not really that successful mm -hmm. and then when you show up in the school there might be a problem there and then once you are there the school might actually think that okay once you're here you have to help us solve our problem and you are not in that position to solve the problem you don't have it mm -hmm. for, so for that reason you don't even go there in the first place for them to say that fix this thing and then you say oh i don't have it and be like oh yes, 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 kind of stuff because i think that would be um your own perception yeah. so if you think that's what your school is going to do to you you're definitely not going to go there it's all about your perception and mindset so if you see yourself as a person of value or you're content with where you've reached or what you've been able to achieve in life you be sure of the value of what you are whatever you're going to give to the students let's say i don't have a lot of money i'm not going to do any 
grand project in the school, but I'm able to give them a talk or maybe career programs. I know the value of what I'm going to give to them. I know the experience I have on what I'm going to talk to them about. So I know what I'm going to give to them, how important it's going to be. So even if the school needs monetary funds or something, I know the value of what I'm going to give and how it will be helpful to them. So I wouldn't feel inferior that the school is not going to accept what I have to give. Amazing. And um, Goshes, the past, the alumina is a group of people, it's only one person. Mm -hmm. I may not have made it in life, but my 100 cities is going to go a long way to put up a structure with a group of people. If also so you bring 100, this one bring 100, this one bring 150 and all that, we can put up something We can put school. up something for a school. Being an alumni does not mean you should go and support the school alone. You can if it's in your means. But if you can't, you have this same tax of um, mobilizing people to actually gather some money and do something for the school. But it's not necessarily important for you to be thinking always about the money aspect of going back to your school. Okay. So me, I also feel as if sometimes it has to do with situations like our demands. Maybe what I need is not really money, mm. it's something else. And then you come, okay, wait, let's take it at, for this instance. Um, maybe we are organizing or we need funds for SRC, and you come saying you want to talk to us or something. Like, considering that situation, what would that do for me? Maybe we need money. So I think that's when people actually ask or like think for money. Yeah. So like you also have to like analyze the situation. Not only what I have to give, like what my school needs, because those are the people I'm supporting. Yeah. And then, all right, okay. you can. So um, they've been in the school before, and they know what the school lacks and what the school needs. Some have not even gone there before since they completed all. Hmm. The like thirty years. <laughs> like in your state, like you yeah. being in that school for maybe yeah. three or four years you probably actually come across some problems that you wish to solve or help because maybe your past Mogues haven't done... So sorry for using Mogues, your ancestors haven't used anything. Ancestors? Mo you said Mogues is what? <laughs> okay, so Mogues are actually past students of Infantmine. Uh, oh, okay. Old Girls Association. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Wow. Wow. You wanted to say something? Gosh, let, let it be. Say it! Let it be. Say it! Gosh, let it say be. it! Gosh, I think it's very important. Okay, seriously. Probably controversial. Oh, I've forgotten about it, seriously. I was I was actually thinking about yeah. what she was saying. I'm so sorry, Goshes. I don't believe you. I was thinking so, about <laughs> so so now do you think that how about this? Could it also happen? Why Gushes, people don't I've go? Remembered. Ah, say it. Okay. I was speaking in tongues in my head. <laughs> sometimes, um not sometimes, we all have mothers. And on Mother's Day it's not necessary for you to give your mom money. But it's very nice uh, if you have made it somewhere in life and go and give to your mom. That's how this whole SHS structure is. Your school has helped you, but it's not necessary for you to give your school money. Mm -hmm. But it's very nice if you give your school money. It's not necessary, but it's very nice. That's what I, I want to say. Is, about. Is, it, is it only money that we can even give to Sometimes you? Sometimes going to tell your mom, I love you, makes her very happy because the pain of raising you up was a hell. But you can't just go to your school empty-handed. Yes. You need to go with something. That's where the problem is. Yes. I think yeah. that's where the collective effort comes yeah. in. Because as she said, alumni is not one person. Mm -hmm. It's a group of people. So one person can't say, I'm going to put up such a grand monument in the school. Even though one person could. But with alumni, they usually do it as year groups. As a group of people. So everyone's little contribution brings something substantial they can use to put up something memorable in the yeah. school but but we have others too you, uh, uh, you made mention of that we have others too who have really made it in life like they are so successful they have it they have it and they have vowed actually made a vow that i'm not i'm not good in fact they don't even okay you actually said that some feel don't feel proud about your if you don't I don't feel proud about my school and I've made it so much in life. Should it be a problem for me going back to my alma mater? Some people have a problem. With yes, because they, would have. they feel like the school didn't contribute to what they yeah, are. Success, yeah. Yes. Um, After all, a teacher told you you are useless in your school. I've heard rumors like that, that <laughs> teachers sometimes also contribute to those reasons sometimes. why students don't come back. 
sometimes a teacher might have said something derogatory to you and you feel this school didn't help me if my teacher could tell me i'm useless i won't go there again meanwhile as you are speaking the teacher is on pension but there's a vow you have made it really hurts you there are some yeah. people where it really get to them if someone tells me i'm useless i will never forget please no one should tell me i'm useless <laughs> <laughs> if someone tells me i'm useless i would never forget and actually some some of these things actually push you someone tells you you are useless it should actually push you so i believe but that, though, that should even be a motivation yes, now even you though your teacher I'm said me. that you need to rub it back in the teacher's face that yeah. you did it you made it alive i think this is where social studies actually come in with self because yeah. self-esteem yeah. self-confidence self like yeah you told me i'm useless but i have made it now yeah. and then yeah. i'm even contributing I'm like, your face. yes but mm -hmm. after that happens most of the time they make the vow there so it's go it's mm -hmm. like going with them. If you paint a wall, it doesn't quickly dry up. After some time it dries up and it's very difficult to clean it. So when it's fresh like that and the teacher apologizes, fine. You would you rethink your um your decision. But when it has dried up over thirty years, you come and tell me to go back to my school. No, my teacher said I'm useless. Sometimes your grown is um negligible. You you are useless, but I still made it. But still is in there they have painted their hats with black they will never go to the school and it's now dried up really hard so we are getting to the bottom of this um conversation because it's getting dark we didn't start the conversation early it's getting dark yes so um so many people have vowed they've made a vow that they're not going back to their school again they have really made it in life there are there are those two who are average and there are those two who don't have it at all and they've, they've been in the school for years, like they've been out of school for years. How do, how do the school institution, how can they come together? How, how can they attract their people to come back into the school in spite of everything? Recognizing them. How? You can, um, if it's um, a handsome man, let me use my school all students from the 90s to the 2000s you can get all of them together to come and how, how do you do that mobilizing is also another challenge mm -hmm. you make it a full program for them you make a one-week program for them draw it for them tell them they should even handle that they'll feel proud oh my school wants me to organize a program for us as all, all students you go back to the school and you give back to them that's and what will really motivate them and you advertise how do you advertise it to all the group year groups social media so, for example, in my school, every every speech and prize giving day, a particular year group handles it. So next year, it's going to be the 2001 year group. They are going to be handling it. So once, from the time you're a student, you know that in 20 years, you're going to sponsor the school speech day. So they already know before they even leave the school. Okay. And when it's time, the school gets in touch with everybody, even if it's from just a prefect. She would get everybody because... You all went to the same school. You were friends. Everyone will get involved. Yeah. But not all all students are actually they, um, are connected. Mm -hmm. Like have maybe some have year group groups, mm -hmm. social media groups. Some of them are not part of of groups. So how do you get? There are some schools. The alumni system is is bizarre. Let me say it like that. This unity. This unity. Nothing is happening there. You can't find them. Gosh, sometimes I think when people want to hold leadership positions in these groups and you don't give them that opportunity and you say, oh, let this one do it, that's when the disunity comes into it. So there mm. should be a well a well structured system that makes um the leadership roles even like you are so at this time you are supposed to be this after two years you you step down for someone to be the president but it's not like that we just have all student association but there is nothing real uh, there is nothing um putting them together as a group how can you be a leader for 10 years definitely pe some people will stop liking you at a point mm -hmm. because we can't have even the with um presidency it's four years after some time, there is voting and you change it. That one will be more peaceful. But with some um, past student associations, you realize, oh, this person has been the leader. Me, I want to be the leader. If you don't give it to me, then I'm dropping out. I have my friends. I'll pull them out of it. And I want to create a new one. So gradually, you are pulling away. So there should be a system.
put in place for um, leaders in the Past Students Association, if it's voting, if it's just appointing someone to be in that position, I think it's really going to help bring unity in the, these associations. Amazing. Yeah. Is there any word anyone can share with us um, where that can will be motivational enough to attract all students back to their school? Like, what are some of the thoughts? Do you have any thoughts that can actually inspire some of them to come go back I to think, their school? I think most of them don't go because they are not proud of their school. Yeah. So you could start, you could take the first step, contribute to your school, make your school beautiful, make your school worth going to. So that in a few years to come, even if when you were a student, your school wasn't so top notch. By what you've been able to contribute to the school, your school will get there and you would yeah. be proud that I contributed to this. I was able to do this. Amazing. So now we get into the end of the conversation. Um, it's, it's been really interesting. Of course, you. I know you also have thoughts to share. Um, you have to put in the comment box. I'm going to give them the chance to say their final words on this um, subject. So um, before you say that, you mention your name again, the school and where it's located, and then your final words for um, alumni if they should really do well to go back to their school and special shout out to your people, your own alumni. Gosh, can you please come again? <laughs> okay. I want you to give a word to alumni of various schools that, especially to those who have made a decision not to go back to their school. Mm -hmm. Yes, that in spite of everything, if you have a word to tell them to consider going back to the school and support the school system because they are the major stakeholders yeah. of the school yes and after you give a shout out to your alumni if you have some All right. okay can we also give sort of word of advice to the schools themselves please do very important <laughs> okay okay add everything okay. <laughs> so so started I from here so i think you can okay. start you start from so um bempa eno ekia santua dabara the head girl for our covers the girls located at I would have been estate. Um, all I can say is that having been in this school um, site, um, I've seen a lot of things here. Certain things, certain buildings. In this school, as in, uh, as in this school, yes. Yeah, uh, uh, mention school. the name of the school. Um, Fantamine. Fantamine Girls, yes. yeah. Having been here, I've realized that. Yes. <laughs> I've realized that their old students have really helped in so many things here. And then what I can say is that I know. Um, it's not easy to, to become successful. It's not a one-day thing. It's a, it takes time. So whatever being the case, we know that Nelly becomes successful. But don't forget about your school. Uh, uh, it's a a Wiggy Hill All Student Association. So all I can tell them that um, they should come to the school once in a while, even if they don't have things to support us with. They, they are... They are yeah, um, encourage, uh, encouragement and then yeah, the presence it, alone yes it gives us hope and motivation yeah. so it should just come that's what I can say for now amazing okay so again um, Manuela Isel yeah Manuela Isel from Infantum Man Girl South Pond Central Region okay so all I have to say is that even looking at the structures in the school everything in the school our um, mogas are doing just excellent so if others could also help more like phantom man is going to be the greatest actually like because i can say just look around my school mm. just we are able to host this program that means we have more potential like our mogas are really doing well they themselves are proud of our schools like they are proud of our school yeah. so if they can put in more i've heard that the vice president's wife is an yes a but nurse of your school is that true? Thank you. It, it's, it's excellently true. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, if they can do more for us, they are, they are doing a lot. But then, if they can push in more, we are really going to like expand this institution. And the name of Infantiman, we are no more going to live in like... So, it's not Infantiman, no it's Infantiman yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a now, it's a now actually, it's a now. So if our mogas will actually help us more, we appreciate them a lot because they are doing a lot for us. So they'll put in more and then maybe we can see them. Maybe she can come talk to us. Like 
puts in more of our eyes. We're really gonna appreciate it. Amazing. So that shout out to Miss Baumia. Miss Baumia. So that 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 has to do with um a back with alumina. Yeah, yeah luminous. We did. I uh, started back with alumnus early this year, and then we sent um a Kojo Dondingo Kojo Sheldon to his school. There are other people we need to send them back to their school. We call one person and the person said we should pay we should pay her before we take her to a school. The, the, I don't I don't even want to go there. If you're interested, um, um, you really want to go back to your alma uh, meta and then talk to the people, get in touch. Send us an email, high schools Africa at um, info at highschoolsafrica.com. Yeah, let's make the arrangement. We'll set up the place for you and then you come and meet your student and talk to them. You don't have to give money or anything. Just go there. Um, your presence go there and then just inspire them and it will be really amazing yeah Waters has actually joined us in uh, motivating our students yes <laughs> thank you very much okay so i'm um, daisy i'm not been a man said assistant head girl for st louis senior high school located in Odium kumase all i have saying to the alumni is that despite the fact that back then some teachers said so many wrong things against them they shouldn't keep it so deep down in their hearts they should just move on so that they can come and help the school when they are doing many things. Um, about three weeks ago, we had a 70th anniversary held in our school. Most of the slob signs came and then they built a new house for the students. Everybody wants to be in that new house because the things in that new house is different from the things in all the houses in the school. So it's nice if everybody, like an old student of the school, goes back to the school to contribute to help the school. Yeah. Amazing. I am Her Royal Majesty Sheridan Samuni. I want to head girl of a handsome girl senior high school, second D Takradi. All I have to say to all all old students is we are very grateful for the support you have given to us. Ahosa, I'm very grateful for the contributions you have made towards the school. But we want to be Oliver Twist now. We can only ask for more. We want you to really support the school, to push the school to higher pedestals. And um, the Old Students Association is a collective something. It's not about only one person. So the little you contribute is really going to count in putting your school's name on the map. So please, let's do very well to help our schools. Thank you very much. My name is Wilona Sarayesu, the head girl of Wesley Girls High School located in Cape Coast. The first thing I have to say is directed to the senior high schools in Ghana. I think you should focus more on putting in value into your students. Things of value such as discipline, respect, diligence, so that when they get out of the school, they know that yes, the school has contributed a whole lot into the person I am today. You should, the schools should focus on putting in things that students will appreciate, what is going to help them keep up with the fast changing world and just keep in step with the world and have a great chance at life in the future. Then what I have to say to all students is that no matter what your school did for you, good or bad, it's just nice to go back to your school and help them develop. So we've been in Infantiman Girls for the past week and going around the school, I've seen a lot of structures that have um, donated by this year group, refurbished by this year group, constructed by this year group. And it's all contributing to making the school so beautiful. The students have facilities and the old students are really helping the students from what I've seen. And it all helps in putting the school on the map, as Sheridan said. It all helps in making the school great. If all the old students sit back and just let the school stay as it is. There's really not going to be much to say about the school until you take the first step. Thank you. Amazing. This is so inspiring. In fact, my interest um, in the forum is the fact that we are bridging the relationship between the schools. Now, um, uh, St. Louis, uh, Hunterman, uh, Wesley Girls, um, uh, Infantman girls, Wesley girls again, Accra. You know, if they're going to grow, all of them are going to grow together. Of course, the old students are going to see this video and you're really going to appreciate it. And in some previous conversation, we understood that um, some of the schools, like some schools, they really have influence. Like they, they have people in higher places and all that. So when they get job opportunities, they have to consider the people who came from their school before they will consider other schools. Now this thing will go a long way in a few years to 
bridge all these gaps now they've become like sisters and all yeah. that yes so they see somebody they see themselves from somewhere they can call each other and all that that's something we really have to come all out and then um um appreciate i mean give an upvote to what has been so interesting to you about this conversation in fact when last did you visit your alma mater when repent Please. Please. I have one last thing to say. Something say it I before I, I complete. Okay, so I forgot one thing. I have to say a big thank you to all the old girls of Wesley Girls High School. You've been putting in a lot of effort into making the school beautiful and still keeping the school up there. We are really grateful. Thank you for everything. And the 2001 year group, we are waiting for you next year on Speech Day. We welcome you with open arms. Hope to see you soon. Thank you so much. And gosh, yes, I have to say this. The year is coming to an end. And High Schools Africa has put in the yes. best say to it. support senior <laughs> high schools. And we want to particularly thank, I'm doing this on behalf of all secondary schools in Ghana. Amazing. We want to particularly thank you, gosh, yes, for doing your best to put mm. high schools on the map. We are very great. But we know next year is going to be a blast. Awesome. It's quite unfortunate that you leave school very soon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so wait for you to come. Wait mm. for you. But then I also have something say to say. Um, from my sister and Akarasli girls, Wesley girls, and Hunter Mine, they are all testifying that the Phantom Man is actually a school. Like she's, she's. I'm passionate. very proud. Like yeah. God bless all Mogas. If you are a Moga, God richly bless you. Be it you are alive, you are wherever you are. God bless you so much. Like. You have made a phantom man a school. Your contributions, your presence, like the phantom man is an example now for every thought. Like, God bless you all, because I'm even proud. Hey, I can't wait to be a mogul actually. <laughs> this is one last thing. Say it. Okay, so my school just turned 19. So 19 years. 19, oh wow. So not, it's a young school. We're not developing, so they shouldn't rush to get the time they need. We are praying for them that they become successful. And they come to help our school. Yeah. Amazing. So I'm um, from Asia Masektek. Uh, Beva Belly made mention. She said something. She said one thing she would love to see is um, a, a head prefect conference. We actually have that program on our list, but we don't know when it's going to come off because it's going to be very expensive to organize that. That's a program where we have to bring all the head, head girls, um, head prefects of senior high schools across the country together for a conference just like head teachers and other institutions um, do to help the growth of the fraternity so we want to have one um, head prefect conference where all the prefects will come together and then have a conversation about how to make really things work in their various high schools and all that so if you're interested in um, that idea please get in touch and then let's see how we can work it out until then i'm going to see you again very soon and what's the name of your headmistress miss phyllis simpson miss phyllis simpson miss phyllis simpson thank you so much for um hosting us here at um here in your school phantom and girls we are really grateful and to fox thank you very much and the regional education director thank you very much a special shout out to the Charles National President, um, Father Stephen, um, the headmaster of Obokunwari School, yes. And also to the outgone uh, Charles President, uh, Mr. A.B. Abubakar, he was the headmaster of um, T.I. Amas Kumase. Yeah, I really appreciate you enough. You were so amazing. We still have to see you. We will see you. Yes. And then um, the Education Minister, shout out to you. Um, of course, the President of the Republic. I'm going to see you again very soon. And bye!